Oh yeah, there we go. Thank you, Kathy. I can I can say, you know, 250 pages of life with with my brother, but um, and and the kids have already said so much about his life. And so just to iterate a, a, a few good memories that I had that I remember so well and so fun. So <clears throat> memories of Vic, I have so many precious memories of my brother Vic. All of my 90 years of life, he first pulled me in our little red wagon when we were kids. And I was extremely young at the time. We had a little red wagon that we were pulling around Fort Minnesota. And so he would pull me around along with my sister Gloria. And so we just had typically little kid fun. Then he came down with scarlet fever. And during his recuperation of that, he lost a lot of weight. He became quite uh, incapable of so many things. Then I returned the favor and pulled him around in the little red wagon. As said, we, we grew up in Borp until I was nine years old, when in 1943 our father was transferred to Euland, Minnesota by the United States Postal Service. Vic was not only my brother, but my best friend. We had many happy family fishing trips, driving in Dad's car to a lake, running a boat. Our sister Gloria and Mom would pack a delicious picnic lunch. No motor on the board, of course. Dick and I would row, each of us having an oar, while Dad would sit in the back of the boat and troll for fish. And I remember this one time in particular, when Vic and I were totally exhausted. I mean, we were, our arms were literally ready to fall off because we're rowing <laughs> and Dad is trolling. And <clears throat> all of a sudden, Dad, he was a, he was a man of few words, a uh, great guy, and without turning around, he even said, could you boys speed it up a little bit? <laughs> it's, it's one of those things you just don't forget. You know? And you know, a, a lot of hunting and fishing going on in our family. Uh, since I can remember, my dad was a hunter and a fisherman. So needless to say, a lot of kids be, became the same way. Um, so we were bringing home pheasants, prairie chickens, and ducks, and anything that flew. As we matured, we both got employment on different farms, shocking grain, haul and bale hay, milk and cows, you name it. And then, next came service to our country. He enlisted in the Air Force, I enlisted in the Navy. And <clears throat> My wife found a really nice little poem. Uh, Jonathan just read Gone Hunting. And, no, I think he went gone fishing, didn't he? <laughs> <laughs> and, 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 so this poem is entitled Gone Hunting. These memories I keep. You remember the smiles, not the tears. For all the hunts throughout the years, don't dwell on things left unsaid. Cherish the memories we have instead. These memories I keep. Like the crisp mornings and dusky nights, a trophy buck within our sights, deer camp with friends and family, these moments meant so much to me. These memories I keep. When peace of nature all around is shattered by a sudden sound, I often, I always hope your aim was true and smiled with pride for all of you. These memories I keep. So don't cry for me because life is done. Stalking the fields has just begun. Come fall, may smiles adorn your face, knowing I've gone hunting in a better place. These memories I keep. Thank you. Now, I have 244 pages beyond this. Would anybody like to hear them? <laughs> have a great day.